Hey guys, I don't know if anybody's watching. I'm just gonna be doing some work today. Um, I'm trying to finish up this boat build from uh, our boat competition yesterday. I think it's good, so I wanna make a video out of it. I'm just gonna be working on it. And nobody's hanging out with me right now, and it's just me. So. I might be quiet because I'll be talking to myself, but you're more than welcome to ask any questions, have a conversation. What I'm trying to do here is make an entrance to Skylight, but I'm not really liking how it's coming out. It looks good up there, but it's all in the wrong position. No one had it when the green house is showing, and then should be better just let me know it's different from what I hear from what you guys hear so <clears throat> hopefully my voice is louder I can turn it down a little bit more there we go so how are you today arc builder of worlds what are you up to oh I see I've got two people viewing welcome Yeah, no worries. I'm 
I always carry too much stuff on me, but I always need something eventually, so I just find it. It just takes less time to carry it. Let's see. Can I get this to do what I want? Actually, I might need to face that way. Oh, that's all right. Oh, it's Johnny. Hey, how are you doing, Johnny? Um, that's cool. No worries. There's nobody on here right now. Oh, come on. I'm probably just going to destroy that other hatch frame. No, I got it right. Excellent. There's probably a directional to this. I probably have to face the way I want the doors to go. Oh, Steve, hey. <laughs> nice to nice to see you there, Steve. How's it going for you today? Your day is almost over, correct? Although we had our daylight savings time today, so we're actually four hours apart now. I am doing well. Thank you, guys. So this is going to be my entrance to fly anything in. This will be my stairs to climb down. There we go. More to get out. And I'm going to put a generator on there. Let me go ahead and do it. Trap door. So... Steve, uh, Steven and Johnny, you both have, well, I don't know if Steven, I think I gave you access to the server. I did, didn't I? We actually had a lot of fun, um, making those boats that weren't really boats. I enjoyed it. It was fun to see everybody work with it, too. in this song next sorry you're gonna see that for a second I just have to turn this down on my end there you go okay What? HFG, I thought you were streaming. Did you just finish? I, I, I just peeped in on you for a little bit. <laughs> I didn't say hi. You looked very busy trying to get up that hill that you kept falling down. <laughs> I'm not really doing anything fun. I'm just working. That's all. Working and hanging out. How'd your stream go? Did you have fun? What were you just uh were you doing a special event there in um, GTA? Something special going on in GTA this weekend? How do I wanna do this? Do I wanna do it like this? Possibly. Man, I'm still a little bit um, bummed about that project that got wiped, the Primitive Plus project. I was really digging it. I was really enjoying it. I'm kind of sad that it uh, got wiped by S+. Plus. And I, I, I do like S+, Plus, but at the same time, I don't know. I just feel a little bit lost right now. I don't know why, but I do. I thought Aaron would be streaming his boat competition today, but I think he's doing that tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to watching that and seeing how it goes. I think I did a pretty good job. I definitely, let's just say this, I like the boat build well enough that I think I want to redo it on this server, just so I have it. 
Yeah, no problems. That's cool. Nice to talk to you. See you later, Johnny. Alright, I think I'll come back to this. How are things in uh, the world of Alpha Arc forever? I might be on my own. Um, I've got, I think I've got builders that will help, but I might be on my own trying to figure out the um, the project we were talking about. And unfortunately, since they patched the water well, <coughs> that is going to be a little bit different. To try to make that work. Are these things so glitchy on boats? That's good. All right, <clears throat> let's see. So I want this to open up separate in case I want to go in. So I'll set that code differently. And then these I want to open up when I want light. So yesterday's uh, death game went well, which is good. The first one didn't because I didn't realize on PvE animals won't go after other people even if they're not on the same team. My bad. But the second one, Duck Duck Boom, was fun. It was basically hot potato with a dodo with C4 plastered to it. So that was actually a lot of fun. See where would I put the So trying to figure out how I'm arranging this room. This this boat actually has three floors. Which I think is pretty cool. Did I do that wrong? Oh, I did. HFG, when are you doing, are you going to be doing your um, family, uh, like, candy eating or um, whatever that was, whatever you called that? That was kind of fun to see you guys participate that in that together. And Steven, I'm really looking forward to when you can participate with us. That should be a lot of fun. Oh, that's right. You're doing it on a separate channel. I gotcha. I think maybe I'm just... I think I'll need to subscribe to it then. I'm probably just not getting um, notifications. For this uh, building contest that we've been doing, or challenge, really, um, I was thinking I need to get a something to put the scoreboard on. And I noticed in the Ark Forever, you've got a, a gilded thing that does your events. Do you know by any chance, Stephen? Or I could ask Aaron this. If they have a, um, if something that will keep track of that, if you're having an, uh, a scoreboard of such. Aaron, 
HFGTV. Okay, I'll have to check that out. Oh, this room is ugly. It's all stone. Let me hear. Oh, great. Now I can't even go down there. Can I lower the floor? What is keeping me? Is it the railing or the ceiling? Oh, it's the ceiling. Maybe I can ask Aaron that question. Nope. Oh, something tells me I just gotta raise it up, but... I think this floor is off. Probably gonna destroy the window. Nope, okay. Can I get this floor any lower? Nope. Okay, then I'm getting rid of this. I think it was always like that with stairs, maybe, and I'm just being an idiot. Okay. Still have to work on the structural, but kind of bored with the inside, so I think I'm just going to go outside and start putting color on this sucker. Where'd you come from? <laughs> I don't remember taming you. Alright then. I still have to work on the inside. Maybe I will do... Bloop. Hey, Mercy, how's it going? It's just me. I'm just working. It's really, again, nothing, nothing spectacular. I just kind of want to finish this boat. You know what? I'm going to go bold. Screw it. I'm just going to use this color because I like it. So there. Uh, I'm just working on the castle boat. I want to get it finished so that I could, um, yeah. I want to get it finished so I can make a video out of it. Yeah, sure. I haven't done anything with you in a while. I miss you. That'd be cool. What kind of build are you thinking of doing? I had to put these pillars in here because I ran out I ran into that limit where it says you're too far from the boat. So I couldn't complete these circles, which I think are... Someone actually told me the name of them. Now I've forgotten again. A tree house. Ooh. I've yet to build a successful one, so that'd be exciting. I'm assuming you just want me to do the decorations on it? That would be cool. Have you built it already? Oops. That's not what I wanted. I think I need a paintbrush. Oh, you just, you made a video of it. Okay, yeah, I'll have to check that out. So you've already built it then. That's cool. You just need it decorated. Was it a stream, uh, like a live stream video? Or are you intending to re-edit it? I just need to see which. I know I want to paint one. One on five, okay. Oh, painting, you're so silly sometimes.
Are you interested in um are you interested in tree houses, Mercy? Ah, right, okay, so like you'll be doing another video once it's all completed, like a showcase video. I like those. They just take so much time, but I do like them. Look at all these great boats. Not boats. Look at this one. That was the winner from the other day. It was a lot of fun. I tell you, though, building this castle boat makes me just want to play Ark for a little bit. Just play the game. I haven't done so in a long time. A couple months now, actually. I haven't played the game. Maybe, yeah. When did I stop playing? I missed the grind. It was relaxing. I got a couple new sh uh, new songs I added to the list. I don't know if they, they said that they're royalty free. I don't know. We could give it a shot. I'm going to play it. And someone built a, uh, a jet. There's another castle over there. Someone built the library. Remember Elvers? Elvers built a, a homage <laughs> in honor of the library that we lost with the expansion of uh, Extinction that came out. And uh, Johnny's is over there somewhere. I was messing around with that new floating um, thing with the, those fence supports. Okay, this is a terrible build because I just could not get those triangles to work. So I was just being ridiculous and adding them anywhere. But I was trying to make like a hovering aircraft. <laughs> no. No hangovers today. Am I talking quiet? I just might just be low energy. But no hangovers. Unless you're nursing a hangover, if that's what you meant. So we had a good time. Yeah, the triangle of death. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, I think it's such a cool idea. If you have like a um, 
a UFO that you could move around on a ma- on a raft, I think that would be hysterical. But because you can only go so high on a raft, you can't really build a UFO. It just kind of looks like it's hovering over the water. And I'm sure something else could be done with that idea, if not a UFO. Oh, okay. <laughs> So maybe the original idea was to go today. Okay, all right, so I'm not crazy, but that's all right. Tomorrow will still be good enough. I'm looking forward to it. Everybody's builds look so great. It should be good. I had fun. I actually want to rebuild the ship I did on your server because I like it. So what else is everyone up to? We're about to embark in another week. YouTubers, do you have plans? You guys working on projects? I didn't get to check out your, um, your ocean outpost, Aaron, but did you get that finished? You're going to be doing another topic for your let's play oops wrong button <coughs> oh school we haven't established your age yet you but you you definitely seem a lot younger than myself, but I'll tell you, I do not miss school days. Whatever level you're at, I do not miss them. <laughs> good. Rest is good. So you're doing Conan as well. I never, I haven't actually seen gameplay for that yet. Is it worth getting? I mean, I know you're doing a you're doing play on it, so I'm assuming it's entertaining. Is it better than Ark? Because I think the NPCs, the fact that you can make slaves, was something that seemed really exciting when I first heard about it. Ah, oh, sixth grade. Oh, exciting! You got another tutorial, another uh, hours and hours of slaving over editing. Oh, are you backwards? Why are you not painting? There you go. Okay, so it's fun, not quite like arc. So I'm then is atlas going to be like the best because it's pretty much arc just with things that we're missing i've heard like some builders say in uh, atlas though that they actually like the building materials in arc better oh good i know your fans probably really enjoy getting to talk with you during your streams seeing you work And plus, you work so hard on the editing, you must really enjoy the break of just streaming and being done with it. Content, there you go, done. You don't have to worry about all this other stuff you've got to do. Because I have a lot of videos I myself want to do, but the um, editing has just become daunting. I like it, but it just takes a very long time. And I don't even do mine even close to the level of yours. I mean, I, you told me how many, how much footage you have to go through. Well, <coughs> I haven't checked in recently what Conan is worth, but it might be worth trying to, um, trying another game out. I've been so devoted to Ark for a while now. I'd do a, a playthrough. Maybe I should get it. Is it very expensive, Conan? I don't know if you guys even know.
Really? Aaron, you would give up uh, your how-to videos? That's like what you're really... Well, I don't know. Maybe it's not what you're really known for. But that's what it feels like. Because they're just such high quality. And everybody gets so worked up over them. They're all like, Woo, Aaron! Aaron dropped another video! But I, I, you must enjoy the uh, not having as much work to do on them on when you're just doing a streaming video. Oh, it's $50. Okay. I could probably swing that. Really? Psh, man. You've got some pull, Aaron. <laughs> Well, if you're if you're willing to, that would be awesome. I wouldn't mind, because that would be fun to try something new. And maybe we could all try it together if you haven't had any time yet to play on it yourself. And do that infamous stream with with HFG and do a survival on Conan. And I'll probably be giddy. Like a little girl, like I was with Ark. And when something scary comes out, I might squeal. So I'll just try to mute myself or not not be as girlish. But I can't help it sometimes. I do like these walls in Ark. <laughs> what is that? What are you doing? Uh... Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, just catching up with the on the um, messages there. Yeah, I know. That's like some of these other um, YouTubers that I'm talking to. They're they're not as big as yourself, but they're just pumping out the videos because they're literally just streaming. Even if it's not the stream of the bills, they just go through stream looking at it. Maybe the, they have some music playing in the background, but there's really no editing. They just fly about the thing, and then they're done. And the content that they get online is great, which, y you know, you have to have a pretty steady stream of it. All right, Stonewall, I don't know why you're going to do this to me. Where's your sweet spot? Where are you? Maybe you're backwards. Oh, do I sound sad? All right, thanks, Aaron. I really appreciate that. That would be fun to try something new. I'm not sad, Mercy. I'm just, uh, I, I don't think I'm, I think I'm just low energy. When I'm by myself, and it's just my own voice that I hear, I don't think I'm very interesting. Plus, I'm concentrating a bit on what I'm doing, so it's a little bit different. Not sad. I'm all right, though, but thank you. It's very kind. I don't know what you guys are referring to there. If you were talking about buying it for me or... Because I, I could probably swing that as well. It's always fun to get a new game. And I honestly haven't really played anything in ARC. Before ARC, I, I was on a PC and I think I played Sims. And I love Sims, but really I just love the building. Um, Minecraft, I enjoyed Minecraft. But I really liked that to be social. And when... My husband didn't want to play it anymore. It was very lonely. <laughs> so, uh, you're sporting a hangover. I wonder what you got up to. Is it just hanging out with the lads? Or was it some company thing on a Saturday? You know, I stopped at Sims 3 Mercy because I, I thought, I remember when Sims 2 came out, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. They look different. And then Sims 3 came out, I was like, oh, come on now. Come on now. You're just looking for more money. The game was fine. And then when they started releasing all of the same mods, so to speak, or, or DLCs, you know, all over again, just for the new version of it, I was like, that's enough. But I really enjoyed it. And so I got everything all again for Sims 3. But then uh, Sims 4 came out. I was like, no. 
Sims 3 was different enough that I didn't want to, oh yeah, those are backwards, that I didn't want to uh, buy it all again for Sims 4. But I do love Minecraft. I wouldn't mind a, a, a throwback Minecraft session. Maybe we should do like a retro Thursday stream or something and do do some cool retro games. Actually, I don't know if Minecraft is retro, but I'm a big Pac-Man and Burger Time person. I can never get past like level 3 on Burger Time if anybody's ever played that. That's a hard game. And Pac-Man, I'm a little bit of an addict. If, if I ever get around a Pac-Man machine... Like a, a proper stand up with a joystick. Uh, I will be at that thing for hours. They sell them. I think I saw it in Walmart and I was just, I looked at my husband. He was like, I know, I know, but we have no room. And I was like, but look, it's Pac Man. <laughs> and he says, I already don't see you as it is with Ark. I'm not going to get Pac Man. So maybe when I'm a widow. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you're so funny, HFG. My husband is the same way. So he's a big Xbox gamer, right? So, and he loves games, all, tar all, all sorts of games, but he loves strategy games, right? So Final Fantasy was big for him, and he's so excited that Final Fantasy, I think they, they redid them for uh, Xbox. But anyway, so, but he's never finished them. He always gets them to the end, and then he just walks away. He doesn't want to finish it. He'll even spend all the time doing all the side missions, he just doesn't want to do that final thing. It's got to be subconscious. Not wanting to end a good thing, I guess. That's so funny that you're the same. Old school Wednesday. I like that too. Well, I'm not enough of a gamer to know what that one is. King of Hearts. Kingdom of Hearts. I think I have to move my boat to get some of these. <laughs> items some of my walls are not straight but I don't care yeah is that like a, a strategy game as well or I think survival is definitely my favorite type of game uh, or anything that's got like a building aspect to it like Minecraft does. But I really enjoy the survival. We have to like grind for things and get things. Uh, I'm not good at shooter games. I'm terrible. It, it, it might be hilarious to watch me play because I'll probably be so bad. Oh, hi, ICS. Nice to see you. Uh, it's a mashup, huh? I don't know what that means either. <laughs> what is up with you, Wall? Oh, you know what? Maybe. Nope, I don't know what's up with that wall. Oh, there you go. Okay. Just be weird, Ark. Oh, really? Final Fantasy, Disney, and everything all mixed in. Interesting. Okay. MMORPG. So, RPG. I'm going to sound like an idiot. I'm sorry, guys, but I don't always remember these things. Obviously, RPG, role player game, but MMO. I know you've explained this to me before, but I have forgotten again. M M O. I can't think of what the heck it means. Oh, thank you. Let me click on the link and I'll just watch it in a bit. Ah, uh, multiplayer online, right. Okay, so that's kind of like what Ark then is, right? You just get a lot of people together and you play. Okay. I do like those. I definitely want to play Conan and um, 
my husband's been playing Sea of Thieves lately, and he really is enjoying that. And I haven't played it since, like, the beta. Seems like it's got a lot more fun things to it. All right, okay. I don't know why I like this color in this game so much, and I just really like it on stone. I don't know why. I should really cover up that bottom of the boat, too. Yeah, Bobby. Bobby's Rock Emporium. I especially like the bit we're saying if you're just looking for a good pet. <laughs> I thought that was good.
I think I need to add some pillars to this sucker. It's looking a little bland. Why are you spamming the chat, you silly? <laughs> uh, wait a second. Are you joking with about those uh, PC Mac commercials? Because I'm on a Mac and you're just always teasing me about that. Or did you mean something else? I don't know if Aaron is still here for he le if he left, but uh, I ended up using, even when he upped the structures to six times, I ended up using every, every bit of that. At the end, I had to remove some pieces to place some pieces. Kind of funny to me. Yeah, sure, go for it trying to stay on top of the chat but sometimes you, it, I'm not as quick as I should be feel free mercy bring them on riddles or would you ra rather anything
Oh, sorry. I don't know if I was muted or how long I was muted for. Gosh, I hate when I do that. Um, yeah, I'm assuming... I'm assuming you found me. So well, I had been saying that, yeah, he's on Twitch. It's ICS Gaming and he did guess it. I'm so sorry. I had myself muted. I don't even know how long I had myself muted for. Such a dope. I tell you. It's like I, ha I have to learn how to walk and chew gum at the same time doing this streaming stuff. <laughs> uh, you can't say anything, huh? Interesting. Let me pull up Twitch and see what I can find out. Twitch TV. Da, 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 da. Twitch TV. Now. Oh, trippy. <laughs> what? There's an advertisement? Weird. Yeah, so it doesn't look like there's anything in the chat. Look at that, you can see the ad I'm seeing. You know what? I really don't, um, I haven't worked that out yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, you've got another one. And you put it in there as well. Oh, Mercy, you're so nice. Taking care of things. Oh, that's crazy. Alright, give me a second here. Sorry to do this to you again. Spare the moment. I really need to get like a, a page to do that. Okay, that's done. Some parts of this build are just so ugly. Where's that fence foundation? Nope, not gonna see it. Alright, sorry Mercy, I know you've got another riddle there. Let me just take a look at it. I know you're doing so well. Uh, let's see. A beginning and an end. Yet what I bear is not always the same. I'm more generous than Kris Kringle. And with Scrooge I could mingle. You need me and become me. Destroy me and destroy yourself. I never miss a reaping. What am I? Where do you find these riddles? Where do you find them, my friend? All right, I've got to move my boat. If anyone's watching and you think you have an answer to a riddle question, it'd be interesting to hear what you say. I should really start lowering my um, foundations. Oh, do I need gasoline again? Yes, I do. Do I have any on me? No, I don't. Hmm. You know what? Maybe instead of riddles, because my brain is, is not seeming to catch on to anything. 
Uh, if you want to do some would you rathers or interesting topics, that would be fine. I might be able to answer them better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. I don't know if you saw that uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Girl. Mercy. Sorry. Um, ICS says, I prefer riddles like what do you call a dog with no legs? It doesn't matter. They don't come anyways. Yeah. <laughs> it's like me. <laughs> Jokes. How come that didn't go? Did I not get gasoline? What did I do wrong? I didn't think you had to finish it. Oh, I'm too full. Let's get rid of some of you. There you go. Oh, come on. I hate when those things get in the way. Okay. ICS came up with one too. Would you rather play games with people whenever you wanted or use them? Oh, shush. <laughs> uh -huh. You shut your face. Although, too bad HFG didn't see that because he would have loved that. He would have laughed so hard. Making fun of me and my Mac. Moving on to more serious would you rather as ICS since, you know, you're just all about uh, dissing the Mac. Uh, <laughs> Mercy said, would you rather drive a beautiful sleek sports car that was unreliable or an ugly, dented, rust-covered beater that never broke down? Ugh, well, I would totally not want to drive the sports car then. And I've had some pretty, pretty sad sad vehicles in my day it was like for the longest time i was always getting the leftovers which was good because it seemed like i got all of the issues with cars right away where it was like i've had power steering brakes go out at me while i'm driving i've lost a transmission i think i even had pistons and an engine blow
I'd be interested to see if having these uh, floating X plants would actually be good in a PvP type battle. Because I would, I have them assuming that like I'd glitch them into somebody else's boat before the rest. And then that they would do damage, but I don't know. What? It's the warrior. Hello. Missed you yesterday, but I already called you to tell you that today. in here there we go yeah well he's typing it he's not saying it it was difficult to say every time mercy <laughs> it's very strange to say it Which is, I'm gonna have to go to see what I'm. What walls are missing? Come on, stop being silly. I really don't know the purpose of being able to walk through these walls. Uh, like, it's fun, but I don't know in a PvP situation if it would really be beneficial. Because you can't, like. You can't shoot out the windows unless I change them up. Maybe on the walls and I put um, in windows. Then people could snipe from them. That would be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if like someone came to, to uh, attack the boat and they're... It's like you're running and hiding from them. That's right. That would be an interesting thing. Just sketch no patterns required. What's that about? I didn't get that reference. Oh, sorry. Would you rather communicate only with an etch a sketch or a light bright? Okay, so if I could only communicate psh, light bright, etch a sketch is crazy hard. I always found it pretty amazing the people that could like do serious drawings on an etch a sketch, but that is hard. Can I do a wall here? Yes, can I go through it? No, okay, so I'm gonna have to do the other one. Let me try the Dumbledore one. Looks bad, Ace. Nice, thank you. It certainly has a lot of spaces in it. That's not the one I wanted to do. All right. Here's another would you rather. Would you rather pass the time on long car rides or get to know your students in the first weeks of school? Wait, wait, what? Pass the time on long car rides. I do not understand. Are you talking about going on a car ride with your students? Where are you taking your students, Mercy? You know that you should be fraternizing outside of school with teachers. <laughs> Man, I'm still... I don't... The jury's out on this S plus triangle stuff, ceilings as well. 
I know it's me. I just don't know how to use them, but they're not my fave. There, can I get through? Yep, I can. What could I do? I could probably do something interesting there. What? Is that a double door? Double wall. Oops, and of course I get rid of the wrong one. Why oh, you can't even see it there? Stone door frame. Some parts of this build were just so shaky. But I have to say, for it being a boat, it's still pretty cool, because it's a freaking boat. And it's got all these spacious areas. Looks, uh, stop being silly. There we go. Sorry, I'm not looking at the chat. Uh, I'm just concentrating here for a second. Don't mean to be rude. I know you guys are talking. All right. Yeah, that was a weird one. <laughs> would you rather be a detective or a pilot? Uh, I would much rather be a detective because the pilot scares the bejeebies out of me. I'm sorry, but it does. Oof. Am I not going to be able to get through this one? Pilot is just too scary. I don't know if I'll be able to get through here. Maybe I can. Let me put this down. See? Yeah, okay. That is a weird entrance, but yeah. Could you imagine if you were trying to attack from someone on a boat and they're in the main hall? I wonder how, like, PvP-wise, how would this be even beneficiary? Beneficial, I mean. Oh my gosh. I mean, I like the idea of writing a book, but I would totally rather be a part of a band. Totally. One hundred percent. I think I just like these being hallways. You just open, run through. <laughs> You're so mean. <laughs> It could happen. That's mean. All you really need to do is get someone in here with one of those silly um, guns. Accidentally shoot the boat. Although that would make me a very sad person. <laughs> that would get rid of it. <laughs> that was like the time I was building with um, HFG. We were doing a boat. And uh, he accidentally shot it. Oh, hey, raccoon. I'm just working on my boat. Working on my boat. Trying to get it done so I could do a showcase video on it. I'm a castle boat. Not really up to much. I just figured anytime I do work, I should probably just make a video of it. Just figured that was a good idea. Yeah, boat, not boat. That's right. <laughs> My boat, not a boat. I 
I do not have the door I'm looking for. I like filling my builds with so many little nooks and crannies, but then it just means it takes forever to try to get any decorating done. You know what I'd like to do? I'd, I'd like to recreate that <sighs> chandelier, but I can't do it with the pillars sticking through the ceiling. I made the ceiling all glass. I uh, have an idea to do it, but that would mess up the view on the boat. So that's not going to work. Oh my gosh, I remember that. I'm a snake. What am I doing? Oh, door. You know, I used to do uh, face painting for kids' parties or events and stuff. Well, it wasn't like a full-time gig, but I'd be asked to do it a lot. And kids would be lining up to get their face painting done. Because usually I also underpriced myself, so it was usually very, very cheap. But uh, I was also just very slow at it because I just wanted to put too much detail in. So unfortunately, that's probably carrying over to stuff like this. Okay, I think we're going to get a hatch frame. We'll have to do a ladder. I'm just going to have to work my way down. Got a sore tooth. Oh, I'm sorry about that raccoon. That, that's the worst. Oh. <laughs> that's okay. No worries. <laughs> what were you getting attacked by? On your... I, I'm assuming it's Ark with, your, with all of your mods. Some fantastical creature chomping on your bones. Wait, what's that raccoon? Oh, just an RG. Oh my gosh, they're the worst. Oh, uh, so on official, one time trying to... Oh, this is weird. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is where I forgot where I was. So one time on official, um, we were trying to establish ourselves on a new map. And uh, we wanted to build in this one spot, but we were just having the hardest time. This RG was just kicking the crap out of us. We could not. We just could not get past him. It was like a high level, and we weren't high enough to be able to fend him off. That looks good. This is ugly. I'm going to have to do something in here. Maybe I'll put like storage chests that you can get to. And then, uh, actually I've got pillars here. I wonder if it would be terrible if I, what would be smaller? This? No, I just want the wall. No, that's not good enough. What about this? That doesn't change anything either. Nope. Where are you? I'm double thinning. Maybe it wasn't snapped in the right direction. You know what I don't like too about these triangles? Uh, ceilings when you do it in a small little circle like this like they don't have a hatch frame for the shape that would be pretty cool a door to get in here but not a door over here the um the wall that i had created wasn't like perfect sizing so i don't know That is weird. It wasn't uh, perfect sizing, so it's not the same all the way around. Okay, I 
I should have a hat for in here, I think, maybe in the middle. Sorry if I'm making anyone dizzy by doing this. I think that's the middle. Put a hat for in here. It's been a while since I've done any PvP type builds, so I'm trying to figure out too, like, what would be really good defensive wise. It's interesting to think about it. And I just realized the music stopped. Where are we at music? Huh, the music didn't stop. Something just changed on my end. Oh, nothing's playing. Oh, you know what? Let me see here. <laughs> okay, no music. My husband's driving in the car. We share a Spotify account, so now he's listening to my music in his car. He's probably annoyed by that, going, what happened to my music? What is this crap? Can I get through these doors? I cannot. Can I even, is that just the door that's stopping me? Oh, okay, no, that's really awkward. So I'm just going to do a hat turn here. And a ladder. And a door. And a wall. Door. You're nervous? I'm excited. I don't think it should be fun. I love the fact that someone built a Noah's Ark as well. I think that was just thinking outside the box, and I love it. Jeez, what did I do there? Did I mess that up? I guess I did. Can't walk through. I hate when that happens. It's gotta be at different levels. There we go. Fixed it. Yeah. Jared actually visited the, the stream there for a while, Raccoon. I don't know if you saw him. That was cool. Oh, Raccoon, I've just been thinking. I really, I really like how you build. I think that stuff you did was really good on that boat build. On Aaron's, but also the one you did here, the castle. I like how I like your style. I like how you do your colors. I'm a fan. I think it's good. Good work. Do you really? I think my parents went to the Ark Encounter. Have you gone to it? Alright, 
was awkward to get through there. Nope, that doesn't, that's not working. Three times, wow. I would assume it's not free. Oh, your stuff is good, but you have a style all of your own, though. I think it's more than just learning from us. Oh, this is not working. I'm going to get rid of it. If I can. Why is it everything so mashed up in here? There we go. <coughs> all right, done. Done on that level, anyway. Paint the door, you silly. Oh, okay, so I think I have to do five. It's backwards. There we go. I still have to like find a generator. I'm just catching up on the, the chat here. Oh, you're going to come in and do finish your castle? That's cool. Yes, I'd love to see that, ICS. That would be great. So, ICS Raccoon is a YouTuber as well. And Raccoon, so is ICS. Oops, I put the wrong thing there. I wanted to keep all the foundations metal. So I've got to like get the look of stone. Oh, soap. Love using soap. So much quicker having to change your paint and then change it back again. Now, where did you come from? You're a wild dodo. Are you a wild dodo? You are a wild dodo. <laughs> Can I hit you with this? Nope. Crazy. All right, well, get out of my way. I think you somehow glitched into my, into my boat. <laughs> oh, that's funny.
What? You are too a YouTuber. You put content up. You're a YouTuber. Are you trying to get out? Nope. <laughs> You're my prisoner. You'll never be free. Oh, I have to get rid of more stuff. I know this is a little boring because I've basically just ran through a bunch of hallways. Do I have double doors there? Yes, I do. Oh, I'm out of stuff again. These really are awkward circular builds. everything he put a railing there <clears throat> let me see if I can get the music back on oh, I need two of them All right, let's see. Music, music, music.
there's some color there. Oh, I think he's playing the music again. We're fighting over music. <laughs> That's funny. Uh. What's wrong with him? Like, this is a lot of different crevices and places to put stuff and people and animals. I think I would be very happy on a PvE server just floating around in this boat. And I just think it's funny too how it looks like a castle. So if you just put it up on the beach... Unless people notice the uh, the bopping that happens. They're going to think that that castle is a permanent structure. Why can't I get through there? Oh, that's weird. What's going on? It's amazing, too, how many pieces I've been able to put on this boat as well. Probably going to hit a structure limit soon. Trying to decorate the inside. That's why I've kind of held out on putting any more uh, details on the outside. All those doors are awkward. And I have it there for it's just on the wall. See? Lots of stuff you could do. I hate that one, like, for some reason it's backwards and it's not um, picking up the color just picking up the triangles underneath. Oh, look, there was an extra seal. Or maybe I got rid of a triangle. Well, all right then. Oh, that door does not work. We got to get rid of you. Yeah, no worries. Enjoy your Netflix. I've been watching Mad Men. What do I do really care? I think I can get music again. Get some music back on.
No worries. You take care. Thanks for staying and hanging out with me. Thanks, warrior. This window's driving me nuts, though.
Hey there, Ginger Doe. Um, I am working on a boat that looks like a castle. So I'm just trying to do decoration on it. Yeah, no, on my, I don't really know what the setting is on, but I know that I boosted the settings on my server. So I haven't hit the structure limit yet, but I feel like I will pretty soon, because there's an awful lot on this raft. Yeah, I have a server that I rent from Nitrado. Oh, you're that ginger. Uh, I couldn't actually get on it. I was still getting problems with it. Um, RCS thinks it has to do with the rag map and having to load that up. So I'm going to have to just keep messing around with it, I think. Cool. Trying to download it. I was working on it trying all morning. I just could not get it to work. Oh yeah, no worries. It only wants to snap to those. Okay, well, we'll ignore you for now. You silly pillars. You know what? That is always dangerous. Although this wall actually guides me down. I'm not oh, in too much danger with that. Maybe. Oh, 
sorry. Rona, what do you want me to do with this? Oh, here you go, Rona. My son's handing me a marble maze to help him with. Sorry. Getting distracted. There you go. Okay. Um, I've used catwalks there for like... <laughs> oh, Ronan. Here. Now are we done? Do I put this piece on? There. We should be done. Okay. Let me try a catwalk. It'll look good. It's not there. Will it let oh, I won't override them. Right. Oh, no. Demolish, what are you doing? Okay. So if this is the main entryway. Oh, you know what? Uh, this. When I drive the boat, I look through here. If there was a way. Are these just one? Yeah, it's one large wall. I could just change that. Give myself a little bit more view. That might help. <laughs> yeah, I've got a four-year-old. So his father was nice and took him out to dinner and gave me some time to stream. But they're back and he prefers to hang with me. He loves his dad, but he's a, he's a real mama's boy. <laughs> No question about it. Which he inherits from his father. So. This might make driving the boat a little bit easier. Let's test it out. I'll dress it up pretty. Come on, get down there. Oh yeah, that's a little bit better. I mean, it is a freaking castle on a boat, so it's not the, the greatest for sailing, but you can see what you're doing. That's good. I just got to keep it, keep from blocking that. Five and eight. Oh my goodness, so many children. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Uh, we want to have another one. But again, three, five, and eight. My goodness. It's a lot. You know, um, I actually did a lot more decorating than I have been doing building. Um, I like it, but I'm still not, I wouldn't say I'm used to it yet. I gotta set, change the time of day. So it's still so awkward. And on the stream yesterday, I, I think you were watching some of it. I, I see I said you were watching. Um, I really have a hard time with those triangles. It could have just been because I was on the boat. The triangle ceilings, not the triangle, not the triangle roofs, not the ceilings. Because they just kept flipping back and forth. It was really ri ridiculous to try to figure out how to get the snap. So. And I actually, I wish there was a way to get better cylinders. I mean, now that we've got some of them with those triangles, but even if you do like the smallest you can do, like I did in the corners of this castle. You can't... Uh, did that change the time of day? Oh no, I've got a space in there. Um, you still can't uh, like put a hatch frame in them now. So you'd have to go with a square in the middle to do a hatch frame. And then put the, the circles around it. Or the triangles around it.
good gap between them. Ooh, what are you referring to? I think I missed that. Yeah, they do. They kind of go where they want. And in certain cases, once they go in one direction, you have to take the time to remove them because there's no way it's going to go to a, like the snap location that you want. Like You have to get rid of it. It's not as uh, forgiving as I would have hoped. Yes, <laughs> on another kid. I don't know. I've got my hands full with this one, but um, yeah. Uh, th this is very personal, but um, I can't help myself. I'm pretty much an open book. Uh, so my son, I've mentioned it before. So he's he's got autism, and I don't want it to make it sound like I just label my son. I actually think it's a little bit like a superpower. He's one of the smartest little people I've ever met, and now that he's in my life I totally prefer him to even um, they call typical and you know he's a typical brain to typical brain children because they just ask so many constant questions and my son loves to to just be on his own and and I don't know I kind of enjoy it and I like watching all the cool things he can do I mean he taught himself how to read and count he could do addition and that was the age of three you know he just turned four February in February, so I, I, I'm a big fan of my son, so when I talk about his autism, I don't do it with like a disparaging my poor son type of thing, but life is just different when, when you've got, uh, when you're dealing with someone with s special needs and with autism, especially in the realm of communication, and the whole parenting thing is just way different than what I had thought I would have with a kid um, when you take the communication element and how difficult it can be with autism. So, uh, but thinking about his future, especially when he's an adult, and my husband and I, let's say, we're gone and out of the picture, I mean, I, I really pray to God and hope that he is um, able to communicate. Oops. By that point, he's able to uh, do a lot of things on his own, and he'll be independent, but there's no guarantee. You know, everybody's different with autism. So my husband brought up the point that... Um, you know, it really would be in his best interest as well if, if he had siblings to help him navigate life when we're not there. So, I mean, that's definitely thinking way down the line. But, you know, I don't think my son will have a problem with this because he's a very affectionate person. But do you know that um, autistic, I, I read somewhere in a study that um, autistic children are less likely to get married because they'll have difficulty with relationships. Uh, it's one of those crazy statistics you first come across during that time when you first get the diagnosis and it doesn't really help your your mind and all the worry about what's going to go on with autism but that's one of the uh the first statistics i read so it makes you think like you have to you have to think about something like that that you may never have grandchildren or you know that they may end up needing to be in, in um you know having Maybe not a home, but like being in a, a place where people come in and help them live their day-to-day -day activities because they struggle with things such as understanding danger or communication, you know? But anyway, uh, so I do want to have another child, but right now I feel more motivated by the fact that I should give one for Ronan, give Ronan a sibling. Just, God forbid, anything happened to us, but... That also sounds a bit sick on his own, too, because I've heard stories about children who were born, who, are, who, are, who their parents conceived them solely for the fact that, uh, you know, they had another child who was sick and they needed a match for, like, a bone donor. Wasn't there, like, a movie like that recently? Someone put out a movie where the, the child 
went to court to divorce her parents because that's what she felt like she was being used for. I don't know. But yes. I would like another one, but I'm also just feel like it's a, it's a lot anyway, as it is. Alright, I have to fix that one colored area, but did I get all those railings? So do you do any uh, building there, Ginger? Yes, I would say uh, in love is a definitely good uh, description. Sometimes I wake up and I just look at him and uh, I'm so excited. And you know, um, when I became pregnant with him, I was living in Ireland. That's where uh, my husband's from. And um, I kind of, I was feeling homesick. And I was raised with, you know, it was just me and my sister, so in a house full of girls. And so um, and my husband, you know, that they, they were used to boys. They've, there's like three boys in his family and one girl. So part of me was really like hoping for a girl to kind of bond with and, and to make sure I felt like I had somebody who was a lot like me because I love my husband, but we are so different. It, it's a good thing, but also, you know, it's still, I just was thinking I'd, I'd want a girl. And so when we did, we did a cool little gender reveal party. And when I found it was a boy, I was like a little sad about it. But now that I know my son, I realized how wrong I was. Uh, my son is a complete like mama's boy. And uh, he's, I don't know, he's awesome. He just, he, he just makes me happy. And I, I, I just get so amazed to see all the stuff that he does. Forget all the things he's bad at. Well, not bad at, but let's just say delayed. Forget all the things he's delayed. They, they don't even matter to me. He's just spectacular. I mean, what, ki what kid teaches themselves how to read at the age of three? How, do, how does that even happen? I mean, he's just watching videos. And next thing I know... He's reading words and uh, sentences. We went to the restaurant the other night and we're, we're walking up and he's like, oh, Red Lobster. We'd never been to Red Lobster before. And I was like, how do you know how to read lobster? <laughs> I can't even get you to do things like when I say good morning to you, have you say good morning back to me, but you can sit there and read Red Lobster. And I think actually I've seen him watch um, alphabet videos uh, in several different languages. There's Spanish, there's check and I think he's been watching some Sanskrit 
And I can't help him with any of that stuff. I barely remember any Spanish. I have a friend, too, who jokes about that, too. She's got two kids, and she's like, I'm totally done. No more. I'm like, all right, I get it. I get it. It was really hard, though, until he could actually talk. I think that was the hardest bit. Because I uh, was really sad all the time. Worried about him, too. And then once he started talking, it was like, okay, we're going to be okay. It looks very plain. I think I should... You know what? I think I'm going to put orange in there. Where are you, orange? So are you trying to build on um, green ob where the uh, where that flat piece of land is that everybody likes to build on? All right, you're a mom and you play ARC, so let me let me ask you this question. So this whole idea about being a YouTuber, uh, it, I had wanted to, to do something in YouTube because I am at home and I am a creative person, but I'm a mom right now, so it's not like I can work a 9 to 5 and being an artist is very difficult um, to get started in, in any field, especially if you're not out pounding the pavement. So um, the idea of doing something on YouTube was as a creative outlet really appealed to me and I've been playing Ark for a while and I really enjoy the game and then had just really gotten into building and realized there's this whole world of people who were doing YouTube just based on building but there wasn't a lot of people focusing on decorating and creating like atmospheres and builds and I'd also hear a lot of people they'd um, do a build of, of a YouTubers and then they'd be like, okay, now what do I, how the heck do I feel at this? This is a ginormous build and I don't know what the heck to put in here. So I started doing stuff and it seems, so far it seems to be going well. So here's my, my question since you're a mom. I, I'm just kind of winging it at this point. I'm doing the work and I'm hoping the work speaks for itself, but I'm also doing live streaming because I, I know that that could be really good for you at, and growing your audience. Um, but I'm a little intimidated because there's, you know, and gaming is a big male-dominated genre. There are girls in gaming. There's lots of girls in gaming, but it's very male-dominated. And you think about the people who watch streams, you who are watching other people play. Um, and I just, I don't know. I was just wondering if I should try to find some way to reach out to other moms who are doing this too or I don't know if that's just too generalizing I guess I'm just blabbering on you know what I think maybe in the end as a YouTuber you just end up being yourself and um, you'll find your audience or they'll find you rather people who like quote you know hanging out with you because that's what really we're doing we're just spending time together it's very social this All right, so you asked a question. Uh, does he have a favorite thing? Your friend is obsessed with Tim Burton. Oh, that's so cool. My husband and I talk about, like, we can't wait. We cannot wait until he finds something he's truly passionate about. And the only thing that's really budding at this point is bowling. His grandmother got him a cheap little plastic bowling set because he had been watching a lot of bowling videos. And uh, this kid, it's become annoying <laughs> because he loves it when they make that loud noise and so he always wants to play it in the kitchen where it's like really echoey but that's not where my work is so it's difficult because I can't just leave him alone in the kitchen he turned on the oven the other day and I almost had a heart attack um, 
So that's difficult. But we started taking him bowling, and he gets really excited. It's really cute to see him jump up and down. But as far as other things, like, I would love it if this kid got into dinosaurs. I mean, he already knows all of the planets. Um, I remember, I think he was, like, two, two and a half. And uh, he started singing the planet song. And I think that's when we realized he was actually learning how to read as well. And I wrote down the names of the planets, and I said, what planet is that? And that's when he, was, he started saying um, the planet. So it would, be, it would be really cool, I think, if he started picking up some crazy hobby like that. I don't care if he, you know, what, what's that TV show? This kid has autism. I think it's called Atypical. Great show. But um, the kid has uh, autism in that show, and he's obsessed about penguins. I wouldn't care, really, what he's obsessed about, as long as it's not, like, lewd or, or, like, shocking in any way. I would just let him go on and on talking about it. But I'm like that with people anyway. I tend to like weird, weird people because they're just so much more interesting. I like people who are passionate about stuff. So if you like soap operas and you go absolutely nuts for them, and that's all you want to talk about, I'm, I'm down to listen. Tell me all about your crazy passion. I'm going to think it's pretty cool, and I'll listen to it. That's just kind of how I am. I did have a, uh, a builder, a YouTube builder, tell me that, too, that there's, um, like, he struggles with trying to appeal to you know, the girls in the game, not, that sounds a little bit weird, but you know what I mean? Like the females. And so he was kind of excited thinking I could somehow bridge that gap, which is good. I think overall, just in general with building, there's a lot of people who just kind of give up on it, either on the aesthetics or learning how to build. They just either want to, they need a, a how-to video to show them step-by-step, step, which is fine, but they just don't think that they have either the creat creative ability uh, or the... Um, the word is mechanical or the mechanical ability to actually pull off a build but it's it's definitely a learnable trait and there's a lot of great youtubers out there explaining people how to do some of this stuff oh gosh I hate how boats do this um, so I definitely I would definitely like to see people you know saying you know what I think I'm going to try to be creative and try some of these tips and, and see how it goes. But that's my personality. I like when people step out of their comfort zone and try something new. Oops, wrong thing. I destroyed the wrong thing. Did I? What did I get rid of? Oh, a railing. What a fence. Okay. I was like, I'm like that way with uh, regular art as well because um, even when I would draw in real life and every and someone would be like, oh, I wish I could draw like you. I'd just be like, maybe you can. You know, you may not be perfect, but art is always subjective. And really, honestly, if you enjoy it, it's like if you sing and you sing off key, I'll listen to you because <laughs> I'll get excited about how passionate you are about singing, even if you're terrible at it. <laughs> I'm just reading your thing there. A lot of your friends are on Twitch or YouTube have also dabbled in Facebook Live for ARC because it automatically shows up for people who have clicked on ARC related stuff. I know Facebook has so many, so many Facebook uh, groups for ARC. So I'm streaming actually in Facebook too. Uh, Restream is nice because it, it's got YouTube, Twitch, and um, Facebook that I'm set up in. Although you do have to pay to like have, you have it only does it on personal Facebook free uh you have to actually sign up for their service if you want to do facebook as like a, a i can't think of the word but like an a, a, an entity type of thing all right what am i doing here what am i getting i forgot oh i think i'm getting paint Okay. 
yeah, that's what I did. So tomorrow, um, Aaron's going to be doing his stream on his boat competition, and I have an entry. So if you want to check it out, I think he said it's going to be 9 o'clock um, GMT, which that's UK. And um, I'm going to be attending it as well. So now that we just had, uh, we just did our spring forward. We're now four hours apart. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, uh, it's my boat, not a boat. <laughs> it's my castle. That's really a boat. We did a, a fun competition. We're, we're just doing interesting builds. I think when it's all done it's going to be fun too because it has a lot of space in it. It definitely made me want to um, just play Ark again instead of you know doing all this building. Actually I think I like I rather like that light. Oh, I forget what that is. I think it's five. There we go. Still doing the boring bit, which is the uh, coloring. So let's see here. Can I do anything down there? No, that's the bottom. Okay. Ah, Flanagan. I'll tell you something interesting. My mother's side of the family is Scottish and they definitely kept track of that but my father actually spent most of his life he's from inner city Philadelphia he spent most of his life in an orphanage he was actually there until he was 18 until he joined the army now um, he has a lot of half he had a lot of half brothers and sisters that actually they all passed including my dad but um, he actually never knew he never knew his father and um there was always talk of him being an Irishman, but he, d he actually didn't even know his name. So when I was a kid and we had to do like those family trees, mine was always interesting because my mother would go back generations, generation, generation, and then my father's was like my dad. And I think my grandmother's name, but I never met her either. She died before I was born. And so my mother's, um, let me try alternating. My m I only knew my grandmother on my mother's side because my grandfather passed on there as well. Oops, wrong one. I think I have to hit this one. bad because it's spotty oh you know what I think I'll, I think I'll do something to add to that nope wrong one Oh, these are really overlapping. I wonder. I wonder if it would look so bad if I mix that up. I'm just going to mess around with that for a bit. See how that comes out. Oops, wrong one. Oh, no, wait. No, no, it's not the wrong one. It's not the wrong one. They're overlapping, so... Let's try this one. And then I'm just going to come back through with the... Um, oh, no. Might look terrible. Get the tan. Now, 
How does that look? Does that look crazy? That's not very neat, but... Nah, I don't like it. I'll just do orange all the way across. So, you said uh, your last name is Flanagan, so... You have... Have you actually checked it out in Ancestry and seen where your people are from? Oh wow. Yeah, that's that's kind of a cool mix. I think I'm uh Scottish and German myself. That is a very cool mix. Nordic. Nordic, that's cool. And French. I really think I did this one. Orange. Yeah, cool, no worries. I appreciate the company. I hope uh, the bedtime routine goes well. I struggle with that one sometimes with mine. <laughs> I hope yours goes better. Thanks for hanging out with me. Maybe I'll see you later, Ginger. so funny.
welcome back. How'd it go? I'm gonna have to put my kid down soon. Sounds like oh, wow. All right, here you go. All right, do me a favor, Ronan. Come here, I'll help you, but you have to say hi. Hi. <laughs> say hi, Ginger. Hi, Gaggy. Ginger. Say hi, Ginger. Hi, Gaggy. <laughs> Get him down to sleep, though. Ooh. Um, I could still, I could just keep going, but uh, if I don't get him down to sleep, I'm not gonna be able to get him to school in the morning. And I think my husband's just in there playing a uh, Sea of Thieves, so it's up to me. I must get it done. And it's a tight spot. Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> I know I'm biased, but... <laughs> uh, let's see if I can get this turn around. Oh, did I do that crooked? Oh, I did. Who cares? I'm just gonna throw one more in there. Should be fine. I think the whole bench is crooked, to be honest. It's a boat. Nobody cares. Uh, they do, but it's not, uh, not this week. Um, also the school district, school district that we have is, uh, they don't have, um, a program that's specific to ABA. So he actually has to get on a bus and travel for about an hour and 45 minutes, um, in order to get to school. I think I'll turn this into a closet. Which you could use under the stairs. Let me get some stone. It's so hard because I actually have a rhythm now where I'm I'm inspired to build, I'm not just coloring, and I have to go. Isn't it always the way? But there's always tomorrow. Yeah, so this floor will be a bedroom with a closet, it's like a little walk-in closet. Um, can't put pipes on here, so I can't really have a toilet, but nobody really needs those anyway. Um, not sure what I'll do over there. Oh, thank you, Ben. And then I'll have the greenhouse, which I don't know for some reason. Um, when I stacked all the crop lots on that side, and I removed the ceiling, they lost their 300. So it only works over here. Oh wait, don't tell me it's back to 100. I swear it was 300 before. Oh, come now. Ark, don't mess with me. <laughs> uh, who cares? Who needs it? I could technically work it if I just keep placing it. I just want it to be automatic. Oh, this will be a place where uh, animals will come down. Actually, I think I'm going to get rid of that one. Anyway, I'm just trying to fill those crop pots with water. Did I get all of them? Almost. Yeah. And then this is how you get into the castle walkway, which I could do a lot of storage in that wall. And then. So this would be like the main living space, all nice and neat in this small little area. And then down here will be the workshop. Oh, I could do chandeliers with that. Um, this is the workshop. And then down here, I'm not really sure what I'll do. 
Because you can't really get... Unless it's an animal that goes through a normal door. Oh no, you could probably fly him down, fly down the stairs. I don't know. I'll try to figure out what I do here. But anyway, I'm going to uh, sign off. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been watching. I really appreciate it. Um, it was good chatting with you, especially Ginger. It was nice to chat with you. And uh, I will be on again tomorrow. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I'll be on again.